Hello and welcome to Bangalore 101 and I am Mansi Parish Kumar. Now the Bangalore traffic is a nightmare and if the sheer volume was not bad enough, we have these idiots who do not follow the rules. The responsibility of ensuring that you follow the rules and taking away half your salary if you don't largely falls on the Bangalore traffic police. But they are facing a personnel crunch. Not enough force on the people, people. Want some numbers? Here they are. We currently have a strength of 4,638. That makes us short on 668 people. Not much, it looks like, right? Let me put that in context for you. Of the 668 uh, vacancies, 598 are for constables, those who man our streets. Now, a 2015 report by the Bureau of Police Research and Development, which falls under the Home Ministry, recommended that every 700 vehicles have, has one traffic police person. Bangalore has 80 lakh vehicles, registered vehicles and counting. So, if you go by that yardstick, we ought to have about 11,000 traffic police personnel for our expanding traffic numbers. That's, that means we are short by almost 54%. So the next time you're stuck in a jam on, you know, ORR or Marathalli or Benargata Road, any of these places and, you know, you're screaming in your head saying, why is there a jam? Where is that traffic cop? Why isn't he doing his job? Well, you have your reason now. And it really is not an easy job, the traffic police that is. They work almost inhuman hours. Imagine standing for eight hours in Bangalore traffic, not following a regular timetable of shifts. With 598 vacancies, weekly offs also aren't possible sometimes. The health problems that arise from standing in traffic for eight hours are also quite substantial. And so we have technology coming to the rescue of our men on the road. You know, CCTVs, traffic management centers, uh, automatic red light violation detectors, all of these. Uh, let's not forget the mannequins, you know, that we made a lot of fun of. They're all helping our men on the street to beat what is clearly a, a problem right now. But unfortunately, the truth is, all the technology in the world cannot substitute the manpower needed to man our traffic junctions. S.T. Ramesh, former IG and DGP Karnataka, says we need people, we need constables, we need uniforms on the road because it contributes greatly in maintaining road discipline. Of the 13,000 odd road network that we have in Bangalore, he says it's very important we have to man them. In fact, uh, to help with this situation, the current Commissioner of Police, Bhaskar Rao, asked for more people to volunteer as traffic wardens. They hoped about 2,500 people would come onto the force. Now that process uh, is still on. But honestly, it's a catch-22 situation. Now, most of the road users are absolute idiots. You want numbers? I'll give it to you. On a daily basis, Bangalore Traffic Police issues about 20,000 chalans for various traffic violations. Every day. These are everyday numbers. You as a road user do not want to follow uh, traffic rules. But how can we, in good conscience, expect a human being to stand in that traffic for eight hours to ensure that we follow rules? when we cannot even stick it out for an hour stuck in a jam in the comfort of our air-conditioned cars. That's his job. That doesn't quite cut it. So the next time we decide to break a rule and decide to blame it on traffic police, let's remember we also are responsible for ensuring safety on our roads. Till next week, goodbye.